What's going on, everybody? It's Q from Retro Q Gaming, and what are we talking about today? Well, we are talking about Final Fantasy XV. Now, what is Final Fantasy XV, real quick? Well, Final Fantasy XV is a very pretty game on PC when turned up to max settings on a powerful machine. It's also a very fluid running game if, again, you play on PC and not on a console because it has 60 and above frames per second, something that is absolutely required in action-based games, and Final Fantasy XV is not a turn-based game like most most original old school JRPGs, hence most good JRPGs. Looking at you, Persona 5, you're releasing in 2017 and you release turn based, and you are amazing. Anyway, that's beside the point. So, what else is Final Fantasy XV? Well, Final Fantasy XV is a dead horse. It is an absolute horror of a game. It was also in development hell for mm, about 10 or 12 years or so. Originally announced way, way back in the day at the same time as Final Fantasy XIII. Yeah, let that sink in. But Final Fantasy XV didn't actually launch until over 10 years later, at the end of 2016. And one of the major criticisms about Final Fantasy XV, other than its terrible gameplay, it's almost bland, well, almost bland in the sense of a Final Fantasy-esque soundtrack. Did I mention a terrible gameplay and characters other than Cindy? Cindy is Bay, of course. In fact, I just bought her Play Arts Kai figure last night on sale on the Square Enix EU store. But I'm getting a little bit off topic. I want to stay on the topic of many, 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 many things wrong with Final Fantasy XV. And I want to really, 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 really emphasize how much of a horror this game is to Square Enix. Because we're well beyond a point where it's a time to stop. So what do I mean anyway? Well, other than being one of the top three worst mainline Final Fantasy games ever made, Final Fantasy XV is probably also the number one game with multiple different crossovers. Many completely irrelevant, many not even Square Enix franchises. But Final Fantasy XV, in order to recoup some of its ridiculous amounts of development costs because of the terrible engine and terrible decisions made throughout all the life cycle of the game and the development process, has been hoard to basically every company you can think of. In fact, in the day one base edition of the game, this is not patched in, not patched out, not patched up, down, left, right, whatever. But the game actually has a full-on product sponsorship ingrained into the development of the game with Cup Noodle. That's right, those dirt cheap noodles that college kids live on is an official development sponsor of Final Fantasy XV. Now, none of this is news. None of this is news whatsoever. We've all known before the game even launched in 2016 that this was going to be featured, but it doesn't stop there. Once the game launched and time went by, there was more and more and more and more and more and more and then some more even added in. In fact, there was even one recently where we had Final Fantasy XV X Assassin's Creed Origins, something that doesn't fit whatsoever and isn't even a Square Enix franchise. So when you couple all the terrible gameplay, all these ridiculous sponsorships and crossovers, and what we can only call the complete mishandling of the DLC, it gets even worse. Because in March of 2018, when the game actually released on PC, the obviously superior platform to play the game on, there was not one, not two, but there were three separate crossovers all added on the same day. There was a Steam and Valve and Half-Life crossover, there was a ridiculously out of place Sims crossover, and there was some other one on the Windows Store that I don't even remember because no one bought it on the Windows Store. But wait! There's more! That's right, there's still more to come. Now I was going to make this video a few days ago because I saw another announcement at the time and I thought, oh my god, I need to talk about this. This is absolutely ridiculous. It has gone above and beyond anything I've ever seen before. But in the meantime, some new announcements have actually officially been made before I got a chance to make this video, which leads me to the video we have now. So let's include both of these things as they go. First off, there is a season pass available for Final Fantasy XV. It includes four DLCs, all of which are already out, and that is all your season pass content. But now, as of a few days ago, there is an official Square Enix x Papa John's pizza 
crossover where you can actually get Papa John's pizza in the game. You can make that pizza. It's new, it's uniquely crafted, and it is specific to this Papa John's crossover. There's some way as well, if you do something or use a promo code, you can actually buy a real Papa John's pizza and get a bit of a discount. We don't have them here, so I don't, I just brushed that off completely. And that was the one that was gonna make me make this video in the first place. But then the rest of this happened. And they announced, there are, this has been rumored for a while now, but they actually finally officially announced it. They are bringing out four more DLCs. Let that sink in. Four more DLCs not covered by the original season pass. These DLCs will stretch all the way into 2019, which is about three years longer than the game should be on anyone's tongue. But this is just absolute whoring to the max. Now, I haven't even got around to properly playing Final Fantasy XV. Like I mentioned way, way back in other videos, I tried playing it on a PS4 Pro. It was completely unplayable because of a terrible frame rate. Luckily, the PC version remedies that. But I have way more important games to get around to. In fact, after I render and upload this video, I'm going to be starting Nino Kuni 2 tonight. A game that I actually care about playing and putting severe amounts of time into, unlike Final Flop 15 Dead Horse Edition. But anyway, at this point, it just feels almost disrespectful to Final Fantasy. Something that was unanimous with quality. Granted, that quality has kind of nosedived the last few years. But I mean, hell, at this point, I liken it to something like NASCAR or any of those things. You might as well slap a million different sponsorship stickers and emblems and logos and whatever all over the regalia. That's all this game is at this point. It's a pretty, if you have it on PC at least, advertisement. And it's not an advertisement for Final Fantasy. Anyway, I think this shit is absolutely disgusting. I can't wait to not play these new DLCs, if I even ever get around to the game, although I probably will at some point this year. And hey, let's look at it this way. When Hironobu Sakaguchi left Squaresoft way back in the day because he didn't like what they were doing with Final Fantasy, woo lad, imagine what he is thinking right now when he sees this shit with Final Fantasy XV. Papa John's X Sims X Double DLC X Season Pass Edition. Because, let's be real, no one really praised Final Fantasy XV. No one still really plays the game. It's early 2018 now, and with the exception of PC-only players or PC primary players, the game's been dead for over a year. Out of everyone I know that played the game back on console when it actually came out, I think about two or three of them actually bothered going back for any of the DLCs. Most people even own the season pass, but didn't even bother going back for the DLC. It's just that lackluster. By the way, have I mentioned the game is shit? Not you, Cindy. I still love you. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up now because I'm just going to keep talking in circles. But it's disrespectful, it's absolutely disgusting. And what do you think about the whole situation with Final Fantasy XV and its 8 bajillion gazillion current crossovers and sponsors? And it's probably more upcoming, 8 million billion jillion more upcoming crossovers and sponsors and whatever. Because if they're supporting this game with DLC into 2019, you damn well know they're going to be crossing this shit over with anything they can get their grubby little fucking hands on. So let me know all that good stuff in the comments section below. Hit the appropriate button to let me know how I did on the video. While you're at it, why not hit that subscribe button and even turn on the notification bell to see all the good stuff as it comes directly to you. Meanwhile, I'm going to play a real JRPG and I will see you guys on the rest of the videos in my channel.